Holy cow, wait till you see the view from here. another video and we are here in Sidemen Bali and it's like one of the most beautiful places we've <laughs> ever been so pretty so I did a lot of research because I really wanted to take you guys somewhere that not a lot of other travelers have been after three days of searching online I finally found the place here in Sidemen um, people do like to say online that it's like what Abud was 20 years ago before the tourist industry swept the entire town this is gorgeous yeah it's it's pretty insane so we came in yesterday and we did a couple instagram stories if you guys aren't following us there i'll leave a link right here for you we kind of gave you like a hotel tour yesterday when we first got in so we're gonna jump back to yesterday so you guys can like see the inside of this place but right now we're just like sitting on the balcony we have like this outdoor patio area overlooking this beautiful rice fields i mean it's just insane check out this view Today it's a little cloudy, but yesterday it was insane. Yeah, the actually Mount Agung, the volcano is right there, but it's covered in clouds today. But yesterday we had a crystal clear view of the volcano. Yeah. So. so we'll share that stuff with you right now and then we'll come back and pick up today's video. We are gonna go to a couple cool spots. When are they gonna see the footage? Cause you just keep talking. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna play that right now. This is our amazing view that we get to look out every day. And out in the distance, that is the volcano. Super awesome view. And then down here is our pool that overlooks this beautiful rice field. Oh, it's just so dope. But first, they should give them a walkthrough tour of this lovely hotel room. <laughs> the Vanna White of hotel rooms. All right, let's go. We got a family room because my mom's staying with us. She's camera shy, so she won't be on the vlogs. Um, but you walk in, this is like the outdoor terrace for the bottom floor. We're getting spoiled. <laughs> and then, like, the dramatic entrance. <laughs> <laughs> That's, look how dramatic that was. Just... That is typical station right there. All right, anyway, <laughs> this is the bottom floor, so my mom's gonna be staying down here, but you have two beds. Everything is open air, so you'll see mosquito nets over the beds. Beautiful wood furniture. Got a little bench. And then just show them like the detail, it's so pretty. Yeah, everything is just really nicely done, decorated really well. Wait till you see this bathroom. This is so cool. Beautiful, awesome little tiles here. This is the tub. And then this is our outdoor shower. Oh, we've always so wanted cool. one. With this like really beautiful stone wall. And there's where we're gonna go potty. Girls don't go potty. Boy. <laughs> and now we're gonna show you the upstairs. Oh yeah, we have like a master suite upstairs. I didn't know we were getting all of this online. Honestly, this place doesn't look this good. It's way better in person. And this is our bed, right over here. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is where we're gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> Just kidding. This is the master suite. <laughs> Look at this, it's so beautiful. Nice, beautiful king-size bed here. And look at this. We have a little outdoor seating area that overlooks this insane view. Look at this, it's just so awesome. So yeah, this is where we're gonna be for the next couple days and we're gonna kinda show you around this local area, 
fly the drone for sure. If you guys like this hotel, it's called the Albion IU Villa. This whole place was 50 US dollars a night. They have an infinity pool, breakfast is included, and the views are just not to be beaten. This is one of the prettiest places we've ever been, I think. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. So we got these drinks from the front desk when we first got here. And we came back from the pool Aww. and there's two little gecko lizards in there. Poor guys, they're trying to get out. We're gonna let them out. They just like watermelon juice. Aw, poor babies. They're scared. We'll get it, yeah. We'll get we'll you get out. We'll get you out. Good thing we found them. They would have drowned. Sorry. There you go. Goodbye. Aw. See ya. Guys, this mountain air is making Ryan reckless. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like taking off the drone, but I'm sitting in here and it wasn't getting satellite. So I held it out over the, the roof here and it got satellite. And then I was like, okay, I gotta <laughs> lean out because we have a, a ceiling here. So I'm like, I gotta lean out and I started it. The propeller started spinning and I just threw it. <laughs> and I thought it was gonna like spin fast. No. And the thing went and like almost just about before it hit the ground, it caught and started raising. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it just fell. It went <laughs> You are a daredevil. Guys, we straight just crawled down into one of these rice caddies to get photos, but it's so pretty down here, minus the fact that I might be getting an allergic reaction from all the weeds. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting some amazing shots. The lighting is so good. So hopefully these photos on Instagram will be out shortly. Oh, my hair is just like crazy right now. For these roads. Yeah, we ordered a small little compact car and they brought this huge van. Oh. I feel like a dad and I got kids in the back. <laughs> anyway, we're driving along these local streets. We're gonna take you guys around just to see the local surroundings, maybe to Sidebin Village, and yeah, see what we can find. This is not a very safe place to be hanging out. We just pulled over because we found this awesome like bridge that overlooked this stream and it just looks so amazing down there. So we gotta stop and maybe get some B-roll for you guys. Well, this is freaking cool, guys. Like, so glad we stopped. I was like, we gotta pull over here. And the big stream is like right over here. And then this path goes all the way up. I wonder what's up top. It's deep as hell right there. <laughs> you better freaking be careful. Give me your camera. Take off your shoes. Oh God. It's fine, it's not slippery. Are you sure? Yeah, it's not slippery. All right. Are you sure? I'm positive. <sighs> okay. We are gonna go up here and see, and see what can be found. Maybe there's some hidden treasure. <laughs> Give me the money. <laughs> Where does this go? The river's like way down there. Wow, this is so neat. Be careful, babe. I wonder if there is like a huge waterfall somewhere. This is awesome. Yeah, it's lucky. We got it. We got lucky with this find. Yeah. It's like a straight river that just goes through the entire village. This is weird. This is awesome. This is super awesome. Guys, this video just turned into an adventure vlog. Woo woo, my favorite. Just look at this, it's so awesome looking. So I guess I was reading online and a big activity inside Min is to kind of do whitewater rafting down the rivers. So this makes sense to stumble upon this. 
I don't think this is where anybody would go rafting, but there's a river that runs throughout like the entire village of Sidemen and we just randomly found it in the middle of a jungle. I'm getting into the rapids. It comes down pretty fast. <laughs> Mr. Daredevil, get over here. I hope my flip flop doesn't get stuck. Oh God. <laughs> All right, we're back in the car. We're on the hunt for another cool location. That place is freaking awesome. Now hopefully we can find some really cool rice patties. Okay guys, we just stopped at this spot. Holy cow, wait till you see the view from here. It's insane. Look at this. This view is just crazy. This is unbelievable. This is so gorgeous and the green is just so bright and colorful. Wow. And down here is the river that we were just at all the way down like we were really far down the road. But this is where it comes through and it helps the irrigation of all the rice fields. So rice so you know is one of the biggest crops in all of Indonesia. And they have these terraced rice fields that you'll see all over Instagram and blog articles. But really it's super functional. So what happens is this river that we were at earlier runs down and it irrigates the different rice terraces. Rice grows best when it's pretty much flooded. Um, and then in about three months, the rice crop is ready and people come and they hand pick it out of the ground. They will dry the stalk or the crop for maybe two to three days. And once that's done, they'll somehow get all the rice out either by a machine or by pounding it on like some wooden table and then the rice falls out and it's ready. All right, I gotta go up and get the drone because I cannot pass up this opportunity to fly the drone. Oh my God. This bird came flying up like right in front of the camera. And as I was panning, I almost hit a tree, but it was so worth it. This drone has been put through its paces today, being dropped off of a balcony and then almost hitting a bird and then almost hitting a tree. But this is just breathtaking. I normally don't only show drone footage B-roll montages, but this time it may have to happen. This has turned out to be one of the best days on record. Yeah, this is so amazing. We were gonna go to like this temple today, but screw that. You guys seen enough temples out of our videos. This is something we've never shot before. I do not want to say goodbye to this beautiful place, but we have two Bintang Rattlers up in the car that are calling our name. Okay, so that was just a spectacular wow. afternoon. Like, I mean, look at this view behind us here. This is just amazing. And we had such a good time. If you guys are anywhere near this place in Bali, you gotta come out here. I mean, like, it's a must see. There's really no tourists here besides the main like bed and breakfast area. And still there's only about 10 hotels on that street. Yeah, so you yeah. really feel like at one with the locals. And it kind of reminded us of Tablas when we were in the Philippines. Yeah. Everyone is so kind and friendly. Like every single person you walk past or who's driving by you on a motorbike, they're all like, hello, hi. 
hi, and they're so kind and friendly here. Last thing, if you do come out to Sidemen, you can do what we did and kind of just drive around, but I would almost recommend hiring an individual local guide going to be really affordable for the Western dollar and you're helping support an individual who lives out in this community as well and they'll take you to places that you could never see on your own. We yeah. got really lucky to find these places on our own mm -hmm. but just to make it easy on yourself for a few dollars just hire a local guide they'll be so happy to take you around for the whole day. And you'll get to see some like amazing spots yeah. that would have been hard to find on your own and they'll walk you through like all these rice paddy fields and they'll take you down the paths and go to the river that we went to. Give you more information. Yeah, yeah. so right. definitely definitely look into that if you are in the area and staying here. But overall our experience at the hotel was just so awesome. The place is gorgeous. The staff is so friendly and we thank you guys so much and hope you all enjoyed this video. I mean we had such a fun time <sighs> today. It was amazing. So that's about it. We're gonna call it quits for this one. If you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up button on your way out and we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!